Hi guys, how you doing? How you all doing? Um, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. It's me, your good girl, efficient and this So today, um, basically I'm going to be teaching or showing you guys rather a DIY method for making um, soda soap mix for your kitchen. Um, this has proven to be an effective way of saving costs, you know, costs for buying soap, as in dish soap for your kitchen. And as you all know, especially in this post lockdown, you know, set up now, everyone is trying to maximize their cash as much as possible and uh, cut down on spending as much as they can. So I decided to show you guys how I make the soap, which usually lasts months for me. It lasts so long, I use it so I try to get that out of it. So um, let's jump right in the video. And remember, as always, if this video made any impact to you at the end, please and devote to like, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe, and last but not least, turn on that notification bell sign so that way whenever I post a video, you'll be updated. Let's do this. So guys, you are going to be needing your soap, basically, this is the soda soap. Well, that's what it's called. I don't know maybe if there's a native name or something. This is what it looks like. So that's so they sell the market in the popular, I'm sorry, regular open Nigerian markets. Yeah. So I got this from here in Rio, just the regular market. So they usually come in shapes like this. Sometimes they come in varying colors. Some could be white, 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 some others could be blue. Whichever way you can mix it. In fact, I even like the mixed one better, but this time around when I went to buy, I just got. It's only white, if not all that mixed. You know. So first step, and then you need okay, you need your bowl as well. Whatever bowl you want to use and mix the soap in, you get you a bowl and you get you your knife, basic kitchen knife. So first step is to pick these up, pick your bowl and start shedding like like slicing. Can you guys see this? Like basically slicing. You get just just um, to be shedding them off into the bowl with your knife. It must not really be tiny, but then again, it shouldn't really be big. You know, so just slice. Uh -huh. So, on and on you go. It's really not a long process. If you observe, I'm done. I'm done with one already. One corner of it, so I'm on to the next. I have like eight pieces here because I really want it to be a bit of a large quantity so it can really last. Just keep slicing it whichever direction. Just keep sliding it. Meanwhile, while doing this, I already put my pot of water on, on the gas. I've turned the gas on just before I started this. My aim is, since I'm very fast in it already, you know, first in sliding. By the time I'm done sliding, I want my water to have boiled already so that I can go ahead and mix it straight up. Do the finishing touches too. So, you watch how this goes. It really doesn't take time, honestly. Is one sharp sharp method according to Vina Nigerians. <laughs> it's a sharp sharp method though, and the thing eh, it really helps you maximize your you know your spendings, especially in the kitchen. So here goes. Just a shift, shift, shift. Looks only done. I think I've already gone halfway. Don't worry if your fingernails get stuffed with the soap. It will be washed out with 
the sponge very easily. So guys, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like after slicing. And yeah, you can see this, right? So just in shreds, and you can see my bowl is almost full. That's because I really want it to last, 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 last. <laughs> Baby girl cannot shout, guys. So, um, Baby girl does not want to be doing this off and on. on. So I don't want to go on thinking about making soup, you know. Or vine soup, which and every other week or month. So this is my hot water, my pot of boiling water. You can see the vapor. Yes, you can observe that, right? So it's really bold, 100% like bold. So you just go on and pour this into the soup. Hope you guys can see this. You just pour it into the soup. It covers the top. They cover the top basically. I just like to stay. I don't know. <laughs> it's a funny idiosyncrasy. I don't know if it's necessary, but I just like to do this. Then I don't know for maximum effect or, or whatever. And then done. That's it. So I'm done, it has covered, like it's gotten to the top. And then, that's it guys. Um, Can you guys see, let me show you guys. Closer look, yes. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like right now. But the idea is for it to settle, like, I haven't done this, put the boiling water. I'll just go keep it on top of my sink, you know. It's going to set once it gets cold and solid, solidified, so to say. Your soap is ready to use. Alright guys, so this is soap. It has solidified. You can see. I'll just run my hands over it. You can see it's hard already. It's solidified. You can see that right. So all you have to do now when you want to do your dishes is just rub your sponge, like romance the top, just slightly because it forms very, very well. I assure you this is a very convenient way to, you know, maximize your resources, especially in times of kitchen soap. You know, it's really hard. It lasts so long. It lasts for long. So just rub your sponge very lightly. And do your dishes and then this one will last it will take me for months you can see my bowl is almost full so with this this quantity of soap i showed you guys the soda was like what 300 naira what yes 300 naira what so you can see that it's quite cheap and yet see, see the results for something so cheap and it will last me months if i was going to be getting liquid soap each and every other week or month of course you know <laughs> you know right that I could not have used that amount of money for months to come so if you like this video if it made any impression or impact on you do like comment share subscribe and please click on the notification bell sign so you get notified whenever I post lovely videos like this for now bye see you.